You know, in the grand scheme of things, Greensboro is not as big as we think it is. There are cities that are much larger than Greensboro. New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Portland, Oregon. Many cities bigger than Greensboro. And yet there are some cities that are smaller than Greensboro. A place in Davidson County called Lick Skillet, where some of my friends grew up. Town down the road named Sanford. Coley Hooker, you know something about that one, don't you? Uh, wait a minute, Nora, I'm gonna get over here to you and Helen. You, Eula, Ulna, what's the name of it? Eula, Eula. Nobody never heard of that one. <laughs> there are, Lexington, there are many small towns. And when we think of small towns, we don't think of anything good, big, or important coming out of a small town, do we? I mean, Michael Jordan came from out of what, Wilmington? Um, I don't know where Cam Newton came from, but I'm glad he came out. <laughs> Small towns. Hear what the prophet Micah says about a small town. Coming from Micah, the fifth chapter, verses two through five. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, Though you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me the one to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth are from of old, from everlasting. Therefore he shall give them up until the time that she who is in labor has given birth. Then the remnant of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the mighty name of the Lord his God, and they shall abide. For now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and this one shall be peace. Though you are little among the thousands of Judah. I want to talk for a few minutes about a small town boy. Now, a boy coming from a small town doesn't have very much to recommend himself. Someone may have spotted him somewhere and said, mm, I think this kid has talent, so I will help him develop his talent. Coach puts him on a football field and he does well and the coach sends him up to Greensboro or to Durham and uh, I, I'm gonna stop this war Tony started. <laughs> Sends him up to a larger city, and there the boy is able to develop into a fine athlete, all that athleticism that they say. And maybe from there, he gets drafted to the NFL. And somebody says to him, where are you from? And he says, oh, I'm just from a little town named whatever the little town is. A lot of us have come from little towns. Little towns where everybody knew everybody. Everybody knew everybody's business. Or if you didn't, you made it up anyway. Everybody was just friendly, got along. There were some minor disturbances, especially on Saturday night. But other than that, we got along just fine. If you needed some sugar, you came to the house and you got it. I remember I was about 30 before Mama had keys to the house. And we were on vacation, and the lady up the street we called Aunt Margaret would come down and get sugar, flour, whatever she needed, and she'd tell us about it when we got off vacation. We'd do the same for her. Small town. Small towns are where people usually know all your shortcomings, all of your faults and failures, and some of them manage to love you anyway. A small town where nobody is bigger or better than anybody. I mean, usually the pastor in the parsonage has a nice place. Funeral director has a nice place. 
Maybe the teacher has a nice place, but for the most part, they're all the same in a small town. The prophet Micah tells of a small town, Bethlehem. There's not a lot to come out of Bethlehem. Come on, it wasn't even on the map. Nobody even thought about Bethlehem. But God chose that small town, Bethlehem, to be the place from which the Savior of the world would come. Think about it. Bethlehem probably only had two nice, well, you couldn't even call them bed and breakfast, but two places for people, travelers, to stay. But on one night, one cold winter night, there was no place for anybody to stay. All of the rooms had been booked. But an innkeeper realized, I've got this, this stable out here. If you want to try that, it's all right with me. So this little town now is about to hit the 11 o'clock news because in that stable would be born to the Virgin Mary, her son, Jesus the Christ. Joseph probably looked down with doting, loving eyes upon this child because all had been explained to him. Joseph was probably worried, okay, now what do I do? Mary was probably glad her ordeal was over because there were no obstetricians or, or obstetric equipment there for the safe delivery of her child. There wasn't even a place to put the baby except in a feeding trough filled with hay, covered with straw. And I can imagine that's all it was. The first persons to come and visit Mary were not the important folk in town. Just some nasty, dirty, stinking shepherds who had been out in the field all night and because they saw a star and were given words of instruction and encouragement and told not to be afraid by the shepherds, they went to see this small town boy. Later on, wise men in all of their magnificent array of clothing came to see this small town boy and they brought him gifts of frankincense and myrrh. You know a small town boy? Do you? The small town boys that we know usually wore bib overalls. If they didn't wear bib overalls, they wore high water breeches with white socks. But the small town boy that comes to us, not only this time of the year, but each and every day, is the one who is above all small town, big town boys. And I can imagine that as Mary looked at her child, the songwriter had these words, Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? The child you delivered will deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would give sight to the blind? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would still the storm with his hand? Did you know your baby boy walked where angels trod? When you kiss your little baby, you kiss the face of God. Mary, did you know the blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dead will live again, the lame will leap, the dumb will speak, the praises of the Lamb. 
Mary, did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy is heaven's perfect lamb? The sleeping child you're holding is the great I am. Just a small town boy born in Bethlehem of all places. Thanks be to God.